everybody. Welcome back to 30 Days Until Done. We're going to do, yesterday we did uh, mice and snakes and tarantulas and all the little creepy crawlies uh, things that uh, are mammals and bigger reptiles and things like this. Today we're going to work on the small things. Radical amazement about insects. Have you ever gotten close to an insect? I, I've never been an insect guy until last summer there was a guy who went up in Sequoia, Dan, and he started, he was photographing insects and Man, he, the way he looks at insects, you, you, you see them differently. You see them for the exceptional, amazing, beautiful creatures that they are. And he could, he could photograph you know, an ant in such a way that I reconceptualized the ant. It's just, it was amazing the kind of work he was doing. And so that's what we're doing today. Uh, we're taking a look at those, those small animals and trying to reconceptualize them, put them in their own thing. Try to do something imagistic. Try to get away from something also that, that's, you know, uh, trite and cliched. Um, uh, you know, I, I like Ogden Nash as much as the next person does, but Ogden Nash has done his work and he's done, right? He's, he's done that kind of work. I'm going to try to put it within the contextualization of day, right? So if I'm going to do this, well, um, I'm not going to do this until I actually go outside and look, but let's say I walked out and I saw an ant. I want to see the ant interacting with today, right? This thing, the thing that only I can talk about. So uh, the, the ant going over a tire, the ant on an iPad. Uh, that'd be interesting, ant on an iPad screen. Um, I've, I've uh, fallen asleep in the woods and had ants crawling on top of me. And it hasn't been bad. You know, it's just, they're just ants, right? They're, unless they start biting, it's no big deal. You either wipe them off or you don't. And you, you move on your way. Uh, but they're, they suddenly you are terrain. And to them, you are as much terrain as, as the earth or the tree, right? Uh, tree is also doesn't say itself as, as terrain. The ants do, and sometimes we do too. Um, I find ants, ants absolutely mesmerizing. Termites too. Uh, we'll be up in the woods and we'll see the bears digging out the termites. And um, it's just fascinating to wear, watch the bears do that, how much, how much food they're getting from that. And then sometimes I'll come upon a log, uh, and we're going to break it up for firewood, and I'll grab it, and it's, you know, it's a big 20-foot log, it's this thick, and I kind of pick it up, and I feel like the strongest boy in the world. But of course, it's just been hollowed out by, by ants, and, or termites, and the sap has gone out. And I think actually that would be my, my, my poem. What all about how, the, how much nutrition, how much life, how much sustenance this thing has gotten from wood pulp. It's just kind of amazing, right? You can imagine what their hives look like, what their societies look like. Um, and you just got there's something small too. You just got uh, Lizzie Butt in, in your in your video. Okay, so when you've got that poem, when you've thought about that poem, it's a little bit easier if you actually go outside and look for the stuff. Put it down below. I'll see you tomorrow on Thirty Days Until Then.